All right, so we talked about doing conditionals and how we can call methods within conditionals and stuff. Um, but what we haven't specifically talked about is when we want to use strings inside of conditionals. Um, so I already have some stuff set up. I have a scanner, I have a little prompt, and I am capturing what they're typing as the answer. Now, um, for when we are building a conditional, so let's just say an if statement, or um, this could be you know a while loop or a do while loop, anything that has a conditional in it, it has to resolve to true or false. Um, what I can't do though is I can't say, you know, does answer equal, uh, let's say yes, then print this out. I can't do this. This will not print correctly. Let's go ahead and run it so you can see. Yes. Why didn't it not do it? Well, because this is designed for numbers, not strings. Um, strings are fickle creatures. Um, and the only way that I could do this is if the word was actually the same. So I could do an example. Um, Let's say string uh, other word, and if I assigned it like this, and then I check those against each other, this should work because they literally have the exact same value uh, because it's accessing the same point this other word is pointing to whatever value is stored here and this is pointing to the same location so i'm basically asking do they have the same um, location in memory which isn't really what we wanted to do we're really wanting to t to check if um, one word is the same as another word so for strings um, there is uh, different dot operators that we have access to when we have a string. So once I have a string typed out, if I hit the period, I can look and see what stuff I have. So I can actually pull smaller substrings of it. Um, I can check. Uh, I can have it split. So if I wanted to split it with something or start words or make it go to lowercase or uppercase, um, but what we really could do is do the equals or the equals ignore case. So let's do this equals right here. And then I can put, if it is equal to yes, um, and then I can write it. So I could say, does answer, the variable answer, have the same value in it as the word yes? Go ahead and run the code again. Yes, and now it prints correctly, okay? Because when I'm testing a string against another string, I need to do answer.equals. Okay, now let me point out a couple mistakes that this will not do. Let's say someone fat fingers and they write it like this. that is not the same okay I could deal with it a couple different ways I could force that whatever was typed in here um, since it's a string it's capturing a string I could force it to maybe all go to uppercase or all lowercase that's one way to deal with it um, so that it's all in caps or all in lower caps or I could change my dot operator to say equals ignore case, um, which is still going to return a true or false, but it's only going to be looking for um, if they are the same word regardless of how it's typed. So let's go ahead and test that out. And we'll type it a couple different ways. So I want, let's say all in caps, that'll print correctly. 
And let's even change this to a capital Y, ES, and run this again. And we want to type it differently because we got to think how the how the user is going to be typing something. They might type it incorrect, and we still want to be able to check. Okay. So as if I'm using the equals ignore case, it's not going to care um, how I typed in the string here if I'm using uppercase or lowercase, or how I'm actually inputting it that the scanner is capturing. It will still match them letter for letter and then will get me in, okay? Now I can also use the not operator on that. So I could say um, that I want this to print as long as the answer is, let's say, not no, okay? So that would be the answer, or the opposite. So if answer was not no, I mean, so I'm basically negating this, that this would be true, and I'm doing the opposite of true, which would be false. So as long as this um, is not no, then it should print. So let's go ahead and try. Bicycle, that's not even remotely close, and that will print. Okay, the only time it won't print is if I type no. If I type nope, it won't matter. It's not no, so it will run. So we have to remember that we want to return a true statement to execute the code block. So if this is false because I'm typing a word that is not no, then to make it happen, I would have to add the not operator. So the opposite of false is true. Okay. All right. So if you're running into trying to match words, this is how you would do it with conditionals. Good luck. Have fun.